Today, we're going to make this souvenir cup, which has a different color at the inside and a print on the outside. So let's get started. First, delete the default cube. And let's begin by adding a circle. Let's change the number of vertices to 16. Tap to edit mode. Press F to create a face. E to extrude. S to scale. Loop cut in the center. S to scale. Control B to bevel. Up with your mouse wheel. I think this should be fine, so click. Let's delete this face. Tab to object mode. And let's add a solidify modifier. Increase the thickness. And then click apply. And maybe I will make the bottom just a little bit thicker from the rest of the cup. Tab to edit mode. And then select this face. Go to this orthographic view, toggle the X-ray mode, and then GG to edge slide, right about there. Let's turn off the X-ray mode. Now we want the face of our cup to align to this axis and not the edge. So to do that, we will rotate the cup by 11.25 degrees. So select all, and then R to rotate on the Z axis, 11.25. And there, we have the face aligned to the axis. We will now make the handle. So we will select this face and then inset. And also this face, inset, select this face, and then go to this orthographic view. And I will use extrude to cursor, control shift, RMB at first, and then for the succeeding ones, control RMB. Now we will connect this face to this face using bridge edge loop, so control E, and then bridge edge loops. So we are now ready to add the subdivision surface modifier. So tap the object mode, and then control 3, and shade smooth. Now our cup looks blobby at the moment, but we will fix that. So go to this orthographic view, and then tap to edit mode. And the first thing that we will fix is the handle. Toggle the x-ray mode. Let's grab some vertices and reposition the handle. By the way, you can hold shift while grabbing if you want to do little movements. I think our handle looks pretty good already. Let's now close the x-ray mode. Now we will fix the edges. Tab again to edit mode. And then press Ctrl R, create a loop cut, and do some supporting loops. Just to sharpen some edges a little bit. Let's do the same for the inside. Let's turn off the display of the subdivision surface modifier. Create a loop cut here. Then slide. I think that looks nice. And then we will also fix some issue at the bottom. So let's create a loop cut here. Control R, then slide. We still have some shading anomaly at the bottom. And for this face, we will select it and then inset. Extrude upward just by a bit. Let's turn off the view of the subdivision surface modifier again. And then inset again this face one more time. And I think we have a nice bottom now. We still need to fix some issue at the inside of the cup. So tab again to edit mode. Let's turn off again the display of the subdivision surface modifier. Create a loop cut here. 
and then slide and then select this face and then inset let's turn on the subdivision surface modifier tap the object mode and we have solved the shading anomaly let's inspect the cup and one way to inspect the shading is by turning on the matte cap and let's choose this one we can also tap to edit mode and click the on cage so that we can see our topology let's go back to studio and we are now ready to shade the cup to shade the cup first let us expand this window and change it to the shader editor press n to remove this panel and then click new create a new material let's go to material preview mode now bring down the roughness and we have a nice shiny cup the next thing that we will do is we will change the color of the inside of the cup so to do that tap to edit mode and we will select the faces inside the cup so select this face and shift out select the remaining faces we will also include this face loop now that we have the inside of the cup selected click slot click plus to add a new material slot and then click assign and then click new to add a new material change the base color and then bring down the roughness tap to object mode and we have a nice shiny inside of the cup so the next thing that we will do is we will add the print at the side of the cup so to do that let's tap to edit mode and go to this orthographic view let's circle select these faces click on slot click plus click assign and then click new now for the base color we will plug in an image texture so let's go to the location and drop it in the shader editor plug color to base color and to see our image let's create another window and change this window to the uv editor to show our image click here and then click the image and there's our image now to show our uv press u to unwrap and we have lots of choices here but we will choose project from view bounds now we want the inside print to follow the shape of the outside print so to do that we will straighten these vertical edges press 2 to go to edge select mode and then alt select these edge loops by the way you can go here to see or change your selection mode shift alt select and we will scale this to x0 but before we do that let's just make sure that we are in individual origins and then scale x0 and we have straight edges let's do the same for the alternate edges alt click and then shift alt click and then click and then scale x0 let's just move this edge loop to the left alt click and then grab along the x also for this edge alt click and then grab along the x a to select everything and then scale down and maybe i'll move everything just by a bit tap to object mode let's bring down the roughness to make our print shiny and we have placed the print on the cup we don't need our uv editor so let's close it let's add a plane for the cup to sit on scale it let's change the color of the plane and also bring down the roughness 
Let's go to camera view. Press N to open the sidebar. Go to view. Tick lock camera to view. And let's position the camera. Let's go to render mode. Let's go from object to world. And let's add an environment texture. Grab color to color. And open an HDRI image. I got this one from HDRI Haven, which is a great place to get your HDRI. I'll put the link in the description. Go to render properties and change the render engine to cycles. Now we have some noise in the render. To fix that, go to denoising and tick render and viewport. And it solved the problem. If you don't want to see the HDRI in the render, go to film and tick transparent. I want to see the cup get reflected more on the plane, so I'll go back to object and decrease further the roughness of the plane. And we have more of the cup's reflection. I think we're ready now to see the render. So press F12. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.